Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we are going car shampoo crazy. We have got 20 products from all around the world, Germany, USA, UK, Korea, even Japan. And the simple aim of this video is to give you a recommendation on what is the best car soap that you can wash your car with. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. So for the last couple of months, I've been looking at all these automotive shampoos, using them to clean my cars, and doing a series of kind of lab style tests on them where I try and separate them on kind of cleaning power using a simulated kind of grease and sand mixture, mixed down with solvents um, that I can put on the test panels and kind of observe them with. And also looking at their kind of foaming levels and how nice they are to use. And also talking about stuff like their relative price or their price per wash based on their um, usage or dosage recommendations against the concentration. Okay guys, I'm gonna fly through all these shampoos now, tell you the name of the shampoo and how much it costs for the different size offering. After that, I'll group them up in terms of their concentrations so you can get an idea of what's the high concentrate, the medium concentrate, and the low concentrate. And I'll also separate off the ones that have the, the sort of special kind of either protective qualities or gloss enhancers or abrasives, you know, the speciality shampoos, if you like. So let's go through the list. In no particular order, coming out of Japan is the Soft 99 Creamy Shampoo, which costs $12.95 for a litre. Next, coming out of Korea from Gion, the ceramic coating company, a car wash that they advertise you can use for their coatings as well as a kind of normal shampoo, a high concentrate, it's called Gion Bade Essence. It costs around 10.95 for 400 ml, 18.95 for a litre. Also from Gion is their protective hydrophobic shampoo called Gion Bathe Plus, a speciality shampoo that we'll talk about a little bit more later on, that costs £10.95 for 400ml and £18.95 for 1000ml. Also coming out of Korea from a ceramic coating company is the CarPro Reset, which costs £10.95 for 500ml or £18.95 for 1000ml, or £56.99 for 4 litres. Coming out of the USA is the Adams Car Shampoo, which costs $9.95 for 16 ounces, or just under half a litre, or £42 for one US gallon, which is approximately 3.7 litres. It's a standard concentration of 1 to 250 shampoo. Also from Adams, we have the Adams Ultra Foam Shampoo, which kind of claims a four times higher concentrate, so around about one to one to a thousand approximately than their standard shampoos. This shampoo costs $14.99 for, for 16 ounces or just under half a litre, or 60 pounds for one US gallon, 3.7 litres. Next we have from the USA, Chemical Guys Honey Dew Shampoo or kind of foaming pre-wash that costs $8.95 for 473 millilitres or 16 ounces and 29 pounds approximately for one US gallon, 3.7 liters. And it offers roughly one to 500 based on how they recommend you use it. Also from Chemical Guys is their gloss enhancing shampoo called Gloss Works. This shampoo costs 10.95 for 16 ounces or half a liter approximately, or around 39 pounds for the full US gallon. Um, its concentration ratio is roughly one to 500. Next from Bright Max, we have Pure Max Shampoo, which is a high concentrate, one to 2,000 shampoo with no added glossy, enhancing agents or anything like that. So it's a pure shampoo, if you like. The price of this product is $14.95 for 16 ounces or half a litre, or $22.95 for 32 ounces, which is just under one litre. And as I've said, it's a one to 2,000 concentrate. Next up, we have the Auto Glands Trade Shampoo, which is a standard concentration of around one to 250 mil. If you're signed up to a trade account, you can get quite a big discount on this product. It's already very cheap, but I'm gonna give you the price as if it's standard retail, as if you were just buying it from the Auto Glands website. For one liter of the product, it's six pound 95. For five liters of the product, it's 15.95. And you can also buy this for 25 liters of this stuff for 46.95. 
Next up in this video is the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Shampoo. So they're kind of flagship um, shampoo from the Ultra High Definition range. This product is available in one liter only, costs um, 18 pounds, and is around about a standard concentration of somewhere between one to 250 to one to 300. Next up also from Auto Glim in their professional trade line that you could buy through your local Auto Glim franchisee, but it's also available um, through various distributors that are online. So you can get your hands on this if you're not in the trade. Is the Auto Glim Ultra Concentrated Shampoo, which offers a one to thousand concentration ratio. It's only available in this five liter offering for around about 35 pounds and prices may vary. Next up in this video, also from the UK, is the Built Hamber Auto Wash Shampoo um, that we've talked about before, a stripped down, pure, high concentration, one to 2,000 shampoo, and with corrosion inhibitors that are a big part of what Built Hamber are, are all about. This shampoo costs 9.95 for 300 ml and 19.95 for a liter of this um, one to 2,000 concentrate. Next up, also from the UK, is Duca Wash. So this is approximately a one to 500 concentrated shampoo, depend, going by how they kind of recommend you dose it in the instructions. This product costs 10.95 for half a litre, um, 19.95 for a litre, and 54.95 for five litres. Coming out of Germany from Koch Chemie is their Nano Magic Shampoo, which contains speciality chemicals which are there to kind of top up, stay behind after the wash process, top up protection, and add a little bit of gloss. Um, this, this shampoo is available in one size only, that's 750 ml, and it costs 9.95, and it's approximately a one to 200 concentration. Next up, coming out of Korea, is the Mystic Bubble Shampoo from Tac Systems, who are another ceramic coating company. And this shampoo, again, has been specifically formulated um, to use on cars with ceramic coating, so it doesn't interfere or kind of block or mask the ceramic coating. But again, it can just be used as a normal shampoo, if you like. Um, it's approximately a one to 500 concentrate shampoo. It costs £8.95 for 500 ml, 13.95 for a thousand mil and 42.95 for four liters. Coming out of the UK from Carchem is their 1900 to one shampoo. So it's a very high concentrate one again. It costs £10.95 for 500 mil, 18.99 for a litre and 28.99 for five litres. Although as I've, as I've said, they, they will often, you know, about a third of the year, they seem to discount the price down to 21.99. But I'm going, all of the comparisons are done on the standard retail price of this shampoo. Another thing to mention about this shampoo is you can pick your scents when you buy this from the Car Chem website. So if you've got particular preference on fragrance, you can pick the one you like, which is quite nice. Also coming out of the UK is the, where is it? G Technic G Wash, another high concentration, one to 1800 shampoo. Again, from a company that their products, are, their protective products are all ceramic coatings. So they're offering you a shampoo that they have formulated to work with their coatings and not mask the coating and all that sort of stuff. Um, this shampoo costs 12.95 for 500 ml, 19.95 for a thousand ml or a liter, and 14, uh, sorry, 44.95 for five liters. Next coming out of America is the classic Meguiar's Gold Class, which is a very popular shampoo that you can pick up in kind of Halfords. Um, the product costs 7 95 for 473 mil, or the 16 ounces. I'm doing all this conversion to the US kind of way of measuring it. Or 17 95 for about just under two liters, 1.8 kind of liters. And the concentration of the shampoo is roughly one to 125 based on the dosage that they give you on the instructions. So it's a lower concentration shampoo. Also has kind of conditioners and protective um, components in there which are left behind to sort of make the car look nicer. And perhaps um, they describe a kind of hydrophilic effect as well. Finally, also from Meguiar's is a speciality shampoo called Meguiar's Wash Plus that we've reviewed on this channel. So this is a, a car wash um, product that contains abrasive technology or abrasives that are there to kind of scrub away at the paintwork, clean it a little bit deeper, perhaps help remove contamination. So it's a speciality product. It's available in one size only, which is 709 millilitres, which 
um, is 14.95. And I've, I reckon the approximate concentration based on their usage is something like one to 333, around about that, that kind of area. Okay guys, very quickly, I've just categorized all the shampoos into different concentration categories. So here are all the standard concentration shampoos and where you're gonna use a lot more product, but you don't have to worry so much about kind of dosing. Here we have a kind of like the middle order, which offer a higher concentration closer to around about kind of one to, two, one to 500 approximately. These two shampoos are around about one to a thousand, so they're getting into that high concentrated category. And then these five shampoos here are the kind of highest concentrations really that you can achieve with shampoos, which is close to around about one to 2000. So you've got the G-Wash, G the Car Chem, the Pure Max, the Auto Wash, and the Gion Bathe Essence. So next in this video, guys, I'm gonna go through and give you some recommendations for certain different criteria that you might have and they will make sense when I go through them because we've all got slightly different criteria and at the end of the video I'm going to give you the overall winner of this particular contest. So first up, looking at cleaning power in this video, if you are just interested in products which are going to clean your car, get that dirt off there, um, that is what we are looking at in this particular video. Now, one of the things I've, used, I've done beyond just simulating kind of using them and forming this opinion. They are, it is very hard to gauge the difference in cleaning power of these particular products. But I think there's three that have got an edge for me over all of them. They're not really formulated to be mega aggressive. That's why it's difficult to separate them. But anyway, it, I'm doing this in order. In third place, the recommendation for the cleaning power is Meguiar's Wash Plus. Now, pound for pound, I think this particular abrasive shampoo actually cleans your car the best out of all of them. So why isn't it winning? Why isn't it in first place in the cleaning power? Because most of that added cleaning power, I believe, is coming through the abrasives that they add to the um, product and that's going to create a Marmite love it or hate it situation as I mentioned when I reviewed this I don't think you should utilize abrasives and kind of work this product to utilize abrasives unless the surface you're working on is up close to 100% clean because the abrasives in this product are like golf balls and the dirt is like meteorites to work the abrasives you're going to work the meteorites as well and that's not good for your paintwork a lot of people were watching that review saying forensics detailing saying that the Meguiar's Wash Plus product scratches your car. No, it doesn't. They're not that dumb. If this product was able to scratch your car on its own, you would start getting hazing like you're almost wet sanding it if it, if, if it was that aggressive. It's not that aggressive. It's just working dirt in combination with the abrasive. So I don't think is a good idea. So I don't agree with Meguiar's vision of the product to be a revolutionary new car washing system but I do think it's a fantastic product for what it does and it's offering you something different I think it's much more useful for guys in the trade that really want to clean the car deeply in preparation for kind of decontamination and polishing because it will help that the only downside with it with it is I still believe that even if you're going to use it that way you're better off pre-washing the car washing the car and then going in with the wash plus to scrub out the surfaces after they're in a good clean condition. I love using it on a foam, um, uh, on a foam block and going over the windows and scrubbing them. And it really it will like shift off that kind of grease and anything that's stuck to the kind of windows, the small kind of contamination. So it cleans exterior glass well, and it works really well on paintwork as well. Um, you know, it's the argument is that if you're decontaminating anyway on paintwork, it could be a waste of a waste or not the most efficient way it might be a step too far but i still think it's a really good product and really interesting and it definitely has a bit of extra poke to it because of those abrasives so mcguire's wash plus i really really like but like i say it's a bit of a marmite product next up is the g technic g wash now it's a high concentrate shampoo this one but i think and this is one that's new to me that i've not use some of these i've been using for years and i know them really well this one i bought in just for this particular test and i think it has a bit more cleaning power than some of the other ones and that's from using it perhaps about five times um so there's always, it's always going to be a little bit subjective and there isn't much in it but 
The thing that also, I had that in the back of my mind that this stuff really seems to degrease well. And it, you know, when I was playing around with the, the test grease, it was shifting it off really, really easily, which made me think, yeah, this is good stuff. Um, but when I took all the pH readings of it as well, this one was, I think, the highest pH at around 9.6. So it suggests to me it's got some sort of, perhaps some stronger alkaline components in it. Now, do not panic when the pH is not at pH 7 and pH neutral. One of the biggest misconceptions is that pH is a measure of potency. Like, if it's pH 7, it's very mild and it's got no potency. If it's pH 10, it's going to be really, really strong and it's going to strip all your kind of protection off and all that sort of stuff. The, the, the way these products work is not, you can't gauge a product by where it sits on the pH scale. It can just give you an indication that it may have some components in it that are alkaline or it may have some components in it that are acid and you could perhaps infer from that that, that that it may potentially then have more kind of stripping power. But generally it's the chemical function of the components that are used in this which determine that, not their pH. So to give you an example of that, uh, alcohol solvents like a IPA, if you measure their pH, they're gonna be close to bang on pH neutral, around about pH 7.5 but they will strip your product much more than any of these because of their chemical function, their kind of polar um, solvents. So don't panic when something isn't pH neutral. I know a lot of people know that, but I don't think everybody does. So um, yeah, this is quite a strong alkaline shampoo that really does have a good cleaning power. And it's coming here second overall in cleaning power. In first place is Built Hamber Auto Wash. Um, that I've used a fair amount. This is a brand new bottle. I've got an empty one over there because I've gone through a whole bottle and it's lasted me a long time and I know the product well and I just think it's a really good... Every time I've used it, I've always just felt that the paintwork was just really, really clean. It's got a very strong kind of degreasing effect that I can notice on the test. And as I've mentioned before, it has those corrosion inhibitors in it as well. Um, there is a slight bit of masking with it because it's probably all those surfacants that can, that can mask a little bit, and they've all got the capability to do that. But it's a very, very strong cleaning product and a product I like. And I think if you're interested in cleaning power without the abrasives, either of these two really will, will, will do a good job. But I'm just edging this one as the, the overall winner. <clears throat> Next up in this video, guys, is the cheapest product that you can go and get your hands on where you're not worried about concentration because you don't want to think about dosing it out or cost per wash. You just want to pay the least amount of money for as much shampoo as you can get your kind of hands on if you like. And the winner of this, it was quite easy actually, it's the Auto Glands Trade Shampoo. Um, quite simply because you can get a litre of it, they don't go any smaller than a litre, for £6.95 which is a really phenomenal price. 15 quid for 5 litres. Um, and then 46 quid for 25 litres. So it's so much cheaper in just terms of getting the product in there. Um, and the shampoo, is there, is there is nothing low quality or trade or budget about it. You know, you just chuck it in around 40 millilitres of it to um, 10 litres of water. Um, you can just literally throw it in the um, bucket and you're not gonna overdose it. You know, you might need to be careful with overdosing some of the high concentrate ones. And it works really, really well. The next thing, guys, is the glamour side, the high foaming shampoos, where you can get loads of suds going, it's all slick. Um, and when you go back to the bucket, those suds are kind of still there and you can translate that onto the kind of panel. And you know, a lot of people are gonna like that. If ever I do a video and it's not, the shampoo isn't like nice and sudsy, someone will have a go at me in the comments. So I always tend to throw a little bit more in. Now it's very important to say, you can make any of these car shampoos sud up with rich and luxurious lavas as they all kind of describe them. They all offer that. And it, you can get it by kind of pumping that kind of air in with the pressure washer and you know, blasting it all up. Um, but it's really how much foam that kind of creates at their usage concentration, how stable that foam is uh, for me. And it was a difficult one, but I think these two perhaps have a little edge. The Adams Ultra Foam, which offers four times the kind of concentration of their normal car shampoo, and the Gion Bave, they stood out to me as being perhaps the best foamers in this particular competition. Honorable mentions, I could literally go through every one of these. Um, I mean, the Auto Glim UHD foams up really well, but they get you to use quite a lot of it to achieve that. 
the soft 99 creamy kind of shampoo when i read that word creamy i thought that was just like a a bit of kind of clever kind of you know clever description of the product but it's not you like dunk your hand into it and pull it out and it's all like thick and white like you dunk your hand into a pot of white paint or cream it's really dense nice foam so that's quite good as well all of the american soaps have got quite thick um suds the Korean soaps as well, you can make them foam, and all of the high concentrations if you want to, just by adding that little bit more um, without risking overdosing them. With the high concentration soaps, the danger is you shouldn't really go hurling them in. Um, you should dose them never more than what they recommend because even though you'll get tons of suds, after you've rinsed, the concentration of all the kind of mixture, not just the, the foam that you scooped off on the top, can be full of all this kind of stuff and it can leave soap stains if you over concentrate them. So you need to be careful with concentrations as well. But in the foaming category, Adam's Ultra Foam Shampoo and Gion Bathe Essence. Next up in this review, guys, is the ones that make your car look good. So the gloss enhancing kind of shampoos. And I'm just going to run through these in reverse order of my favourites. Meg's Gold Class, you know, I've been using this for a fair old amount of time. Doing this video has made me realise that there's an issue around value for money with this particular product. Um, but you have to use an absolute ton of it. One ounce per, per one, one gallon. You know, and a US gallon I think is 3.7 litres. An ounce is just under 30 mil. So with 10, sort of 10 to 15 litres of water, you're gonna be using you know, between 90 to 100 milliliters of product. So that you have to use so much more of this stuff. Um, so it's a much lower concentration, but it's got all these thickening agents in it. And if you didn't know about concentrations and stuff, you wouldn't know that you were paying a lot more for a lower concentration. Sounds like I'm being mean again to Meguiar's, which I don't wanna do, because Meguiar's, I'm sure, will have loads of different shampoos and they'll have one that you can buy five liters of it that is cheap. But that is the only problem I have with um, Meguiar's Gold Class, is the cost per wash is the highest by a long way in this particular test, and that's important. Um, but I still think this makes your car look good. And also, when we did the blind PVD test, where we, they didn't tell us what we were using with all the shampoos, and we had to try and rate them, this one was the overall winner at that low, low concentration. So it's a good quality shampoo. Just like I say, just, you have to use a ton of it. Um, but there you go. Uh, in second place, it's the Koch Chemi Nano Magic. Again, it's a low concentration one. This around about one to 200. So it doesn't offer you the value for money, unfortunately. You've got to use quite a lot of it and you'll get through it quite good. But again, with Koch, it's their retail products. It's their retail line. And Koch are the kings at selling you a ton of chemicals for cheap if you want it. But I've got to review each product individually. And I love this shampoo. Love the way it makes the car look, but it's not kind of winning the overall test because of value for money. Um, so that's the Nano Magic Shampoo from Kochi. And the winner of the Gloss Enhancers for me is Chemical Guys Gloss Works Shampoo. Just simply because I've used it loads. And every time I've used it, I've never felt, felt like I needed to go back over the car with detail spray or anything. I just thought the car looks really nice, really like popping and crisp. Um, and it may just be placebo or something like that, but I, but I don't know. I think I can notice it. Um, and it's also a really nice general shampoo. I gave it a really good review because I think it's a good, it's a good retail product. Um, you know, if you're not into all that retail stuff, you've got loads of options here you can beat it for. But for guys at home to just go and wash their car and make it look good, um, I think this is the worthy winner of the kind of the gloss enhancer shampoo category. So that's Chemical Guys Gloss Works. Okay, guys. So next up in this one is the is the trade kind of recommendation where your cost per wash is the lowest based on how they recommend you use it and the kind of concentration ratio. In third place is the Gion Bathe Essence, which we associate, you know, Gion, very slick branding, which you've got to get right. All the products are really nicely presented, which just makes them that little bit more desirable, especially for guys at home. Although this is the trade one, we're not supposed to be interested in that. Um, so this Glamour Boy, you know, from Gion, still is giving you the third lowest cost per wash and it's a really high quality product it's past the benchmark on quality so um around about 11p per wash if you use it as rec recommended so a bottle of that goes a long way you can only get a liter bottle of it though maximum i believe at the time of shooting this video which is a problem because even with that high concentration some guys in the trade are going to really kick and scream over that because they'll want five liters of it and something like that so maybe that's on its way or maybe it is already there i don't know 
Next up is the Auto Glim Super Strength, you know, ultra concentrated shampoo. Again, it's a trade product, doesn't have any of the kind of thickening agents in it, you know, the, the, which give you, some people like that, even though you could argue that that's not important. And it's, I don't believe it's scented. No, it's not. There's no scent to it. It's just a shampoo that works very well. It's past the benchmark, but comes second in the value for money at around 7p a wash. In first place is the car chem, because if you buy five liters of this, it has the lowest cost per wash in this particular concentrate in, in this particular competition. Next up in this competition is where we just forget about price completely. Drop anything to do with price and just say, what's the best retail? kind of product that I think guys at home are going to have a good experience with and it you know it's a pleasure to use it may have a really nice scent or a luxurious feel even if it's all placebo and you're not interested in that i've covered options you know a lot in this video and the overall recommendations are factoring in value so i'm doing the complete opposite in this particular category in third place we have Gion Bade Essence um, which was also in the trade recommendation because of the cost but let's not worry about cost i just feel that the product's really well presented, the bottle's nice. Do you all know how to market and brand their products? And the way it foams up as well, I don't think there's many people that are gonna use Gion Bade Essence and really not think, yes, yeah, this is a good shampoo. Um, so it stood out a little bit. So it's in that kind of, it's in this luxury category, even though it's good value for money. The next one is the Adams Ultra Foam Shampoo, which when I reviewed this individually, I was kind of umming and ahhing between it and the car shampoo. But if I take out the cost, um, ironically, the Ultra Foam, when I do all the cost per wash, is cheaper than the Adams. I just felt though I didn't want to pay 15 quid for a half a litre bottle of shampoo, but we're taking that out of the equation. Um, I think as a retail product, people are just going to like it. They're going to like the way it foams, um, which is important to a lot of guys at home. So I think, you know, the Adams products are good stuff. So that is a really nice retail shampoo. But in first place, because I think they've gone the extra yard with all the presentation, you know, you buy this one, it's the only one that comes in its own design box, which is, means nothing to people in the trade or anything like that. They just want to rip it open as quickly as possible. But for a retail product, you're getting a Christmas present or something, it comes in the box. It's also, you know, it's thick and foamy and all that sort of stuff. You have to use a little bit more of it, about 50 mil per, per wash to get that foaming action. But it kind of feels luxurious. But it's also the scent, I think, which tips it with this one. It's the one that you can actually, it's got this passion fruit scent. And when you're actually blasting it into the bucket and foaming it all up, you actually get all that fragrance more so than any other kind of shampoo. I think the honeydew would be next on the list of good scents. But this is really well scented, so it kind of, delivers on its retail luxury feel. Um, so I think it's the most glamorous, I think, probably shampoo in this particular test. It's also, it's also bloody good stuff as well, but it cannot offer you, or well, these two cannot offer you the price per wash, which is why they're not gonna be in some of the other categories, but worth mentioning for that, for those reasons. Okay, so next up guys, we're providing recommendations for shampoos if you're looking to maintain a ceramic coating car. So the manufacturers or the brands that offer these ceramic coatings will kind of talk about these products have been formulated to kind of not block the coating, maintain the life of the coating and all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure, you know, how true it is or how not true it is, but I kind of, I think I'd want to use one if I was using a coated car. So I probably will pick one of these for when I finally get around to coating one of my cars. So. Um, but you can, and a lot of people will just use a pure shampoo, you know, to wash that. Uh, you know, it's up to you, really. But anyway, this is for the ceramic coatings. The first thing is, the unique product here, the Gion Bay, as I mentioned, is a way of topping up the repellency of, of, of the, the surface characteristics of your car. So if the ceramic coating a year down the line is looking kind of dead and you want it your car to all be hydrophobic and stuff like that, well, Gion Bay will add a very noticeable hydrophobic effect that should last probably at least a month or a couple of months or something like that, depending on how much you use as well. Concentration is important. Um, so these, this Bathe Plus, and there's other shampoos like this on the market that do a similar thing, but this Bathe Plus really does add a very noticeable hydrophobic effect. For me, it's a bit of a Marmite product. You'll either really like it, you'd be really impressed with it doing this, or you won't want to add protection while you're washing the car. The compromise with the Bathe 
big plus is that the foam isn't as stable. You can make it foam up, but you can hear that foam crackling away and it disappears a lot quicker than the other ones. It's not quite as rich and lathery as all the other ones. You know, even Gion's own Bathe Essence, if you wanted to really clean the car properly and get loads of foamy action going, the Bathe Essence is much better than the Bathe Plus in my opinion, but, but it's a pure shampoo. They have to change the formulation because it's got these xylazanes in it that are, that are cationic themselves. I, I think that means they can't use a cationic surfactant in the actual shampoo because it's going to fight to get to the surface with the, with the xylazanes. So I think it just uses different types of um, detergents that are not going to interfere with it and I think that affects how it works. So I wouldn't, if I had a filthy car, you could use one of these shampoos to clean it. I wouldn't use that Gion Bathe on a filthy car. I'd kind of wash the car first and then give it another quick wash with this to then top up the protection, if you like. Um, so like I say, they're Marmite. If you haven't tried them though, they you know, they will impress you at a level of hydrophobic performance. Um, but it wouldn't be the one I would use to just routinely wash a car. I'm looking for a normal, normal shampoo to wash a ceramic coating car with. And we've got these four here, G-Technic G-Wash, Tac Mystic Bubble, Car Pro Reset, and Gion Bathe Essence. Essentially, the way to differentiate these is you have two standard concentrations, or mid-range 500 to 1, which is still quite a beefy concentration products in these two. And you have two high concentrate options here with G-Wash and Gion Bathe Essence. Now, in terms of value for money, which has been an important thing running through this, TAC is slightly cheaper than the CarPro, CarPro Reset. Slightly cheaper. If we look at the cost per wash, roughly with TAC, you're talking about 28p. And with CarPro Reset, you're talking about 37p, which is significant, but you're only talking about 10p. So, uh, I, both these products perform really well. They've got a nice rinseable feel to them. They, they are, they're all thick and foamy, like I've said, but these come off the car really nice. So that, that's the, the kind of thing that I like about them, how they rinse. Um, but I would probably put TAC there because they both perform pretty pretty much the same way and the difference that I can spot is the price. With G-Wash and, and Bathe Essence, um, Bathe Essence offers the lower price per wash, but there is, there is literally about a penny in it in the difference in cost per wash, so it's not enough really to form, form an opinion. Um, both of these products are pretty good. If I had to pick the one I'm really not fussed, I could use either of them. I would probably, if I was coating my car in a G-Technic coating, I'd probably just go with the G-Wash. They are, they are different, slightly different, these products. Like I said, I've measured the pH of all of them. And this one is a very strong cleaner as well as a high concentrate. So perhaps if you wanted more cleaning power, you'd go with G-Wash. But there's something about the foaming on this Gion Bathe Essence that I really like. So I would perhaps go for this one and I'm going to be using the, the Gion Synchro kit on my car as well, so it's come from the same manufacturer. But really, overall, guys, a lot of people rave about CarPro Reset as well, and it's a really good shampoo. I like all of these ones, and they're not, there's not that much difference in price, although the concentrates, as always, tend to offer you better value per wash. Okay, guys, so at the final part of this video now, I'm going to give you the overall recommendation. To do that very quickly, I've, I've had to cut the herd in half, and simply all the products that are in the bottom half, with one exception, on value for money or cost per wash, I've had to make the decision that they can't win this competition, no matter how good they are, because all of these ones in the top half are every bit as good, but they've ticked that box on value for money. So we've got to go in brutal. We've done it. And I put a line here across. CarPro Reset just missed the cut uh, at... Um, at around 37p a wash. It was right on the borderline where if it had just been like a couple of pennies cheaper, it would have made the cut. But there's one that I'm going to carry over that's, that doesn't offer good value for money into this side where it's made the cut, and that's the Adams Ultra Foam, and I'll talk about why in a little bit. So I've whittled this down now to half the pack, and now I've got to carry on whittling it down. I'm going to whitt whittle out Chemical Guys Honeydew. This is Reg's favourite soap, along with the UHD. It smells nice, it's decent. The reason I'm whittling it out is it's mid-table on value for money. And I feel like you've got to pump a little bit more in than they tell you to, to really get it going and get it foamy. I'm not too sure on how good it is as a pre-wash as well. Um, but it's certainly a good shampoo, um, but it's just not offering me much. One other thing as well that, that's making me rule this out, when I first got it, um, 
at the bottom of it, you can see all this white stuff in it. At the bottom of it, that white stuff builds up and they tell you to shake the bottle really well to distribute whatever chemical that is all around the bottle evenly. And it takes some doing to shake this, I tell you. It just doesn't move. Um, and you've got to shake that every single, every single time. And I just thought, I can't be bothered with that. Um, so whatever it is, the mixture, that gave me a reason to eliminate it along with the other stuff. But there's nothing too much wrong with honeydew. What else have we got here? I'm going to eliminate the Auto Glim Trade Shampoo, even though it's up there as a no-nonsense shampoo, which offers you real value. It does offer you value, but it was beaten on value for, with the by the, the Car Chem Trade one. Um, it was beaten on value for that, and this you can get as a retail product in all different sizes, so this is doing more things and beating that on value. So it's been eliminated for that reason. Next up, I am eliminating two high concentration shampoos, Bright Max, Pure Max, and G Technic G Wash, which impressed me actually, so that hurts a little bit to eliminate this. Again, the only reason I'm eliminating it is that they're all offering you the same sort of thing, these high concentrates here, um, but these are a little bit more expensive. Um, and this one you can't get in a above. Uh, one litre I believe, I don't think they have like a huge offering of it so you, the trade guys can't get loads of it for cheap but it does still, the cost per wash on this is fantastic at the concentration even though on the surface of it, it seems like the price is high the cost per wash um, is around about 14p which is decent so Pure Max is a really good shampoo same sort of, same sort of deal with G Wash it's just beaten on cost per wash by some of these other ones um, even though it does have I think a little edge in cleaning power but if you look at this, you can get down to 6p a wash, and that one is around um, 12p a wash, so it's twice the cost per wash. Um, and its bulk size is almost, you know, it's about 50. What's its, its 5 litre price is 45 quid, when the 5 litre price of this one is 28 quid. So, yes, it's high quality, but look at the price difference at 5 litres. So, it's things like that that are making me um, differentiate them. What have we got left here, guys? Well, we've got some good, good car soaps left here. Um, the next one I'm going to eliminate is the Auto Glands Trade one. I mentioned earlier on, if you're just interested, you're not interested in this concentration thing, then it's the cheapest one in the in the test, and it's high quality. That's its main thing. It it, it meets all the standards I want in terms of quality and foaming. Like I say, chuck a bit more in if you want it to foam. Um, but it's the, main, it's the main reason for it being up here with the, the, the final eliminator ones. But again, its cost per wash is around about sort of 20p, depending on what size of offering you buy. And when it's up against things that are closer to 10p, it's not twice as good as those things. So that's giving me a reason to kind of whittle down to five. Oh, Jesus. Don't want to knock that pot of grease over. That'll make a mess, I tell you. Um, so next we're down to the, the last five products in this particular test. Now I said I'm eliminating them on price. The Adams car shampoo is third from bottom with 72p cost per wash. You've got to use one to two ounces of it in a wash bucket. So say 45, 50 mil in a 10 litre wash bucket. You get 10 washes with this and it's done. This one, you know, six mil or five mil, you get like 60 to 70 to 80 washes in a bottle. So they kill it. You know, they're seven times cheaper on prop price per wash. Um, so really, it shouldn't be here if I'm just going on that. The thing, the reason this is here is because when I reviewed it, the shampoo claims that it's good in the heat and it doesn't dry out as quickly. Well, I don't know if it claims that, but I notice it doesn't dry out as quickly um, in the heat when I just put some of the foam on the kind of panels. And just from using that, I've gone through half a bottle of this stuff now. I really like this shampoo as a kind of retail product. So it's made it right the way up into the podium, even though it's one of the most expensive per wash. Um, but at that, this point, I've got to eliminate it because 72p per wash versus 6p per wash, you know, and all that sort of stuff is too big a difference. Um, so because these are all good as well, you know, that price factor really, really does come into it. So I don't want to prattle on about that too much. So that's a really cool shampoo. And if, I'm, if you're interested in what I said, Especially in the summer, you get problems with soap stains and you wash stuff drying out before you can get around the car and rinse it. Give Adam's car shampoo a whirl because I think you will like it. Generally, 
generally a good retail product, I think, this one. So perhaps for the guys that are less interested in this value for money stuff. Okay guys, so I'm down to the final four now. This is getting tough. Next one I'm eliminating is Tax Systems Mystic Bubble, which hurts because I had this earmarked as a potential winner to me. It's a beefy concentration at 500 to one, so you use about 20 milliliters of it, which gives it a mid-range, just above average sort of cost per wash of about around about 28p cost per wash. And your average kind of cost per wash throughout this whole video is around about 39 to 40p. So it's it's in that top top half of the table, you know, top half of the Premier League on, on that value to, for money, which is really important to me. It's really nice and rinseable when it doesn't interfere with what's going on on the surface. And you never have to kind of double rinse with it, I find. And like after you've rinsed sometimes you can, it looks clean and then when the water dries, you can see little soap spots somewhere else. It just seems to be really soluble in the water and easy to rinse off. So I just really like the shampoo. Um, but I could say the same about the Gion Bathe Essence. And the Gion Bathe Essence is beating this on cost per wash by, you know, it's almost half. You know, it's got about 11, 12p cost per wash. And this is 26p or 20, 28p, sorry. So it's a lot cheaper cost per wash. I can get four litres of this stuff though, and I can't get four litres of this stuff, which affects all that kind of cost per wash ratio, but this would still come in under it. So that, that was on my mind as well. And I nearly put this in front of the Gion Bade Essence, um, but I just think that cost per wash thing again is, is influencing it. So I am now down to the final three. Built Hamber Auto Wash, Gion Bade Essence, and Car Chem 1900 to one shampoo. And my God, this is getting tough. Um, the next one I'm gonna be eliminating from this competition is Built Hamber Auto Wash. And this, oh man, this is, <laughs> it sounds weird saying this, but this could be my favorite shampoo of all time because it ticks the value for money box, cost per wash, um, 13p, so a couple of penny, penny difference between them, which even I'm not worried about, old tight ass here. It's the fact it has the corrosion inhibitors in it, and I know the Built Hamber, all of their products are, are sort of mindful of corrosion on your car and not promoting oxidization. And I think it's one of the best cleaning shampoos on the market. So why isn't it winning? Well, it's not winning because ultimately I've got to make some decisions up here with weeding out all of these. So they're bloody tough decisions. Um, the reason it's probably not winning is it's, it's not quite as retail friendly as perhaps some of the other products. The bottle, you know, you take the lid off and it's, it's a loose liquid, this. There's no like thickening agents in it or anything like that. And you have to dose in the correct amount, really. You could add a couple of mil more, you know, up the concentration by 10, 20% if you want a bit more foaming. But, you know, you're talking about five mil or something like that in a uh, 10 litre bucket of shampoo to get you that one to 2,000 ratio. So to do that, you need to dose it out accurately with this. And you cannot just take this and kind of tip it into the bucket because you'll end up tipping a lot more than five mil. And for a retail shampoo, I think some people are gonna get this and they're just gonna wanna ch chuck it in a bucket. And you have to be a little bit more careful with it. Also, if you knock this thing over, you are gonna lose you are gonna lose all of your product. And I'm forever knocking things over when I'm doing detailing. You've seen it on the channel. Um, I knocked one of these bottles over, you know, countless times in this test, but because they got funny little lids on them and stuff, I didn't lose any product. So I just think it's, it's lost not winning because it's, quite, it's not quite as retail friendly as some of these other shampoos. That leads me to the final two. Gion Bathe Essence and Car Chem 1900 to one shampoo. The next one, this is tough. This is tough, because I love this stuff as well. I mean, I, I, love, I love these two as well, I love the Adams. But this is a great shampoo and it's also giving me good value for money. So it's been in the value for money recommendations, but I'm looking for reasons here. You, if I find a reason to eliminate it, I've, this product's given me two reasons to eliminate it, in fact, three. One, I can't buy it in bulk, 
which is important to me and might be important to some people. Two, the lid's broken, so it's got like a, um, it's got like a pushing lid that you push and turn, and it's like the mechanism's sheared off inside. And the third thing is, when I bought this product, it was a loose liquid, so it was all loose. And um, over the summer, since I've had it for what, four or five months, it's changed state from a loose liquid into a very, very thick gel. I have to be careful I don't tip it all over the floor. Now it still works, and I, I'm not too worried about the fact it thickens up, but I'd just rather it hadn't thickened up and it doesn't change state. And I think that's something the companies probably need to be mindful with the stability of the product. Um, so I'd rather it hadn't have changed state on me because it is going to get to the point where it's low in the bottle, where it's going to be hard to get it out. I'm going to have to fill it up with water and shake it all up and stuff. And that's a quality issue, I think. Um, so that's it. The other thing is that also the price per wash, because I can get the car chem at five litres for 28 quid, means that I can get the, pr the, the cost per wash on this thing, you know, closer to like 5p a wash as opposed to 11p, which is a significant difference. So Gion Bade Essence, awesome stuff. It's made it to the second place in the podium and I'm a big Gion fan, but those are the reasons it hasn't won. And now we are going over to the winner. So Car Chem 1900 to one shampoo I've talked about before in my top detailing bargains video and product awards video. Um, always known it's a good shampoo, high quality. The thing with all of these products is all of the various guys you know, brands that own these will feel that their products are the best shampoos on the market. Um, and they may well be, you know, it's all, it's all subjective, isn't it? But there is not one single quality issue with this Car Chem product. So there's no product here that could convince me it was higher, it was higher quality. If I wanna make this rich thumb, thick lather with this stuff, I can, I'll just up it from its minimum 2000 to one ratio. I'll just put another couple of milliliters in and I'll get a thick, you know, thick, rich lathers if I want them. Um, you can pick the scents on it. So if you're really into like all that sort of stuff, you can pick which scent you have on it. If you're a retail guy and you don't wanna buy bulk on the shampoo, you can go and get yourself 500 ml of it and it will still last you forever if you're dosing it out properly. Um, but if you're in the trade, this product also offers you the cheapest cost per wash that I've seen. And it competes with the cost per wash of those companies that are selling you the really low concentration, you know, 125 or watery shampoos. You know, they sell you 25 litres of it, you know, for whatever, 20 or 30 quid, and it looks like great value. Well, that, this beats the value of those bargain basement ones. And I think it's a really high quality one, you know. We know car chem supply to the trade, so a lot of people are of the opinions that, you know, most car shampoos are good. Well, a lot of the time, most of them are good because they might well be this. Um, so those are the reasons, guys. This, quite frankly, offers the best value for money with absolutely no compromise in quality, suitable for the trade, suitable for retail, and the worthy winner of this best car shampoo. That is the car chem 900 to one shampoo and like i said before keep an eye out on the car chem site because they discount the five liters down from 21 28 quid for five liters to 21 which then even makes it even ridiculously cheaper than already ridiculously cheap okay that's enough okay guys thank you very much for watching this particular video very tough one for me to shoot here because you cannot sit on the fence when you're doing this style of video um, I've tried to run it neutrally. You know, I, I know most of the guys behind all of these brands and I've spoken to them and stuff like that. Um, but I'm trying to do it neutrally and hopefully you can see my reasonings for why I've, I've kind of selected them and maybe they're fair, maybe they're not. Comment in there if you think, if you think I've not done justice to one particular product or whatever. Um, comment in there what your favorite car shampoo is and why. What are the reasons? What are you looking for in a car shampoo? And I would encourage you to try some of the other ones in this um, video. You know, usually the winner gets all the plaudits, but there's some other really good products in here. How fussed am I with this? Well, I would use any of these, with the exception that I might not want to use the ones that are leaving materials behind, you know, if I'm prepping a car for, for machine polishing or something like that. So I tend to want a pure shampoo, although I think the Meguiar's Wash Plus is a cool little unique product as well. Um, 
that's it guys thank you very much for watching this has been a long one this not too difficult for me to shoot the dialogue and stuff but i've been playing around with these for ages and i cannot i'm never going to do 20 again because it's been an absolute nightmare this has absolute nightmare um i'll probably limit it to 10 or something like that but then you know you can't cover as much ground so i hope you like the video guys this has been the best car wash shampoo um thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and i'll see you soon next up we're going to be looking at snow foams in a similar fashion and providing you with some recommendations i